people are fed up with eating fast food and McDonald's. They want to eat fresh food. They want to eat good quality food. So now suddenly the people are starting to look at shellfish and fish and oysters. So we're it's starting to come back. A native oyster is what we call a flat oyster, and a rock is more elongated and plumper in appearance. With a native oyster, it is a sweeter taste than oyster. It's um, more of a acquired taste, I think. The native oyster produces about a million babies a year, and the native oyster, she'll hold on to them eggs until she's happy with the water temperature. She'll then release them eggs into the sea, and the baby will put his foot out and cement himself to a tiny bit of shell, and then they'll form a hard shell over the top, and that's where the oyster life begins as a proper oyster. Our main markets are London, Holland, France and Belgium. And places like Abbeben and Sheikis and Scots that their customers do eat native oysters. The chef likes to be able to speak to the grower, so we're in contact with the chefs all the time. Our biggest sort of worries is pollution, you know. Our water quality is everything. We're constantly talking to a lot of people to make sure our water quality is the best. Mersey Oyster's been going since Roman time. It's an industry that's still thriving and we don't want to lose it. Sometimes we'll take them home and eat me and my wife. We, we do like native oysters. And we just eat them as they are, natural, straight out of the shell, straight out of the tank. Very nice. Mm. Oh, I'm not a great lover. Of... <laughs> Why am I going to have to disappoint you there? I just like a nice a cup of tea. The oyster sits on this mesh and any dirt that it spits out, that goes to the bottom of the mesh. Each oyster is being purified, even the ones at the back of the tray, you know. So we've now put them in the purification plant and they've got a minimum 42 hours they have to stay in this purification plant. And so we've filled this reservoir up from seawater that's pumped out from the sea and pumped into here. I don't think you can purify your oysters any better than this system we've got at the moment. We do like these, they're, they're expensive, but we like them because they look after the oyster. What we do is we, we place some cup side down. We place a bit of seaweed on them. We, we like using seaweed because it's like sort of natural bubble wrap, if you like. And, uh, and then we put it in the fridge and then it in a couple of hours that will be off to the Bendham's.